Hi guys, it's Salston. Today I'm creating another video on retarget kit lifetime deal. To be honest, I think I covered it. I thought I covered everything including full walkthrough on the system or separate video for separate functions or to comparing the uh, showing you all the features of the agency feature and everything. But uh, I and I moved into the next um, software which I wanted to review thinking that I covered entire thing unless they introduce new features I covered everything but today I received a comment saying that uh, can you make a comparison of all the plans that's when I realized okay so for most uh, new especially for the new beginners and everything these plans these limits will be actually confusing so I thought to make a quick video showcasing what is the differences and what just explaining all these features so it might be helpful so this video i'm just going to compare these things and let you guys know about it okay the first uh, factors when it comes to plan is the number of clicks clicks are counted whenever anyone will click on any of the campaigns you created does not matter short and links does not matter bio pages when whenever anyone comes to the bio page and clicks on a certain button or something like that for example shortened link is self explanatory where you have created a shortened links let's say for example this one i'm just copy pasting and entering whenever someone enters and this will count it as a click uh, that is a click and bio page whenever go they go into a bio page let me open up this bio page so i can show you and whenever they go into a bio page and they click on any of these buttons anything it will count it as a click curated page is also same any elements which it's clicked inside that to go into a different pages or something like that then it's counted as click and all these things will be shown here the number of clicks for this element for example this button or something like that so whenever an action is performed that is counted as click so the first thing is shown as the click limits for agency plan they have unlimited uh, clicks and for the other plans it is mentioned how many clicks per month which means every month this will be resetted the leads is also self explanatory nothing too complicated these are the emails we collect from the campaigns using retarget kit we can see all the leads we collect from the leads tab from here and if i come back we are currently able to collect leads using two different campaign as of now one is using the uh, let me see is this the one uh, no that is my another campaign one is using the social sign up when I create a social sign up for example let me open it uh, this one and whenever someone signs up to a social sign up using one of this button then a lead will be uh, added to our list we will get the e email or something like that and also whenever we create call to action for example this e URL when I go there and paste it uh, whenever someone visits this to this page and they mm. enter their email addresses let me wait for five seconds to load whenever they enter a lead data here and join us then it will be added to that lead so this lead shows how many number of emails and lead data we can collect per month this is also shown mm. here what is the limits and the agency has the unlimited leads so which means you can collect unlimited times the links this is show the total links which you can create for in the shortener link for example here if you are creating a new shortened link how many links you can create for one month it's showing that particular feature uh, so if you have just a personal you can create 100 diff, uh, custom brandable shortened links every month and according to the other plans the limit is shown here uh, only on personal they have the limit and professional team agency all have unlimited links and curated page is this uh, the uh, content curation page something like that. you can create uh, let me open up the example here yeah. this is the example let me open up this similar to this page how many number of pages you can create under each limit for example uh, when you purchase personal you can create this uh, kind of page 10 times you can delete it and recreate it if you want but the total count is 10 this is not resetted every month this is the total number you can create for professional you can create up to 20 pages the team you can create up to 100 curated pages and agency you have the unlimited option so that is possibility uh, bio link 
is where uh, how many bio landing pages you can create something like this uh, i have a one bio banding landing page if i go into that page i can show you this is what we say bio landing page we can embed all these things i have will be showing in the different video uh, but basically it's showing how many bio landing pages we can for the personal it shows this uh, we can create only one for professional five team 10 and agency unlimited so this shows that and also the brand is where for all the bio pages you can see the branding appearing here and also if i go into uh, curated pages also i would see the branding let's say for example here so whenever there is any branding involved for example this alston link maxinium so we can create multiple brands from the workspace settings uh, according to the way we want for example here you can see give the name logo and everything for the brand then you can include those things so you know if you want uh, with the personal you can create only one brand professional supports five brand team ten brands and agency unlimited uh, custom domain custom domain is where, where you don't want link like uh, this where it's coming out of their default shortened link but actually you want the links to come out of your custom domain uh, custom root domain or custom subdomain you can add those things from here you can see i have added uh, subdomain i have added root domain so this shows the limitation for that with personal you can add one domain uh, with professional 5 and team 10 and agency unlimited uh, branded social app this is what uh, if you are going to planning to use the social sign up feature let me show that example uh, let me open up the campaign step and let me go into the that particular brand uh, social sign up yep mm -hmm. let me go into the social sign up and create one of the things which are created and you can see uh, the uh, branded social app since we are using the their default url we don't need to customly set up this connection with facebook google youtube and everything because they require to create applications and everything we need to customly create from here social apps go into add new social app give the name it is free to do there is no paying involved in it but you can create this details from here and you have the instructions also here for each one of these things you can recreate it so it shows the uh, social app uh, uh, what you can create it how many you can create it using these things so you can see social app shows in one uh, five branded social app uh, 10 branded social apps and everything so you can find the social apps from here and here uh branding uh, i covered that uh, retargeting pixel retargeting pixels is a feature where we can embed uh, a pixel advertising pixels for any clicks which is happening inside our account we have the option if you go inside that there are so many networks which allows the retargeting pixels like facebook twitter linkedin quora pinterest analytics google tag managers and everything so this shows uh, how many pixels can be embedded uh, into our campaign if you purchase a personal it allows only one retargeting pixels uh, if you purchased uh, a professional there allows unlimited uh, team unlimited uh, agency unlimited cta is where you create this sort of link uh, this sort of campaigns let me show that mm load that and social sign up as uh, call to action as call to action yeah uh, i think uh, yeah that is a call to action let me show this example uh, copy that paste it there and this is what we say call to action create some sort of call to action to any links you share i would have explained this in the other video much more clearly this type of things now you can create unlimited cta but remember even if you create unlimited cta the limit is set for the lead so for example even if you can create unlimited cta you can only collect a uh, thousand leads per month and if you said uh, so that need to be understand so that does not mean even when you have unlimited cta you can going to get unlimited leads it is restricted by these numbers 
so that needs to be aware uh, CTA branding for example in the CTA since I have the bigger plan I don't have any branding but if you are using a CTA from a personal account there will be branding the branding is removed from for anywhere from the professional and everything users what that means is uh, you can create multiple team members under your account for example uh, let me say uh, 20 users uh, if you want to give the you uh, use this account parallelly with the say limitations then they can share and use it uh, if i go into workspace um, and i go into members i can create multiple uh, members into the one account and they can share and use this account so this is showing the user users is not available to personal and professional it is only available to team and agency client workspace is where you can sell this uh, soft uh, SaaS as your own toolkit for your clients where if you go into uh, settings and uh, client uh, client and you can see uh, this is what i mean by client you can invite a client and you can resell it on your own platform and everything that is possible uh, that client workspace is only available on team and agency it's not available here uh, white labeling is option where you create your own link portal something like uh, this which i have created let me show you uh, links dot maximum and if i go inside this okay this is what i mean by your own link portal where there is no uh, branding involved everything is generic on your own brand where you set up all these things this is what they mean by uh, uh, white labeling it's currently not available on team only available on agency deep link is an additional feature where it's like uh, when you uh, give a you share a youtube link through a uh, facebook messenger whenever someone's open in mobile mo in from mobile and clicks on that link rather than you opening the messenger app, they when they click on the link it will be opening on a youtube app so that kind of deep link features will be also currently not available but it's in development but that is currently will be not available on these things but it will be happening on uh, agency plan api access is where uh, if you go here they have the api docs and everything so if you wanted to do some kind of connection and connect two different apps so this is the documentation for the api you can follow through it and see what are the things available i am not sure what, how to use this because i'm not that technical but the technical uh, api does that is currently uh, shown uh, let me go back like currently available only for i think uh, let me see which is the it is currently available for agency that, so that is the overall comparison of the plans i thought to give to a quick video to give much more idea on this so i hope this video was helpful if you have any further doubt feel free to ask me and i will happy to clear that for you thank you